Five seconds remaining. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Yeah. OG's turn to ban. Team's <laughs> team ban. Ten seconds remaining. OG's oh, turn to ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Jeez, turn to the Venomancer. Ten seconds remaining. <clears throat> All right, here we are, game two between Kingwin and OG. <laughs> Just need a little bit of a, a little bit of breathing. But uh, we take a look. Kingwin, they pick up Venomancer, OG, Nyx, and Necrophos. Oh my god. Gonna be one of those games. Well, Brewmaster Wisp banned out by Kingwin. Witch and Ancient Apparition banned Ten out by remaining. OG. Uh, just an update. Five seconds uh, I'm not remaining. sure if... Um... It's because the game went on long enough. Last game, I mean, they bumped this series up 30 minutes, and now the next, the winner of this versus, versus Secret. It's not happening today. It's basically what I'm saying. There's that. 10 seconds remaining. Five so. seconds remaining. That game's not happening, so if OG wins this, um, it doesn't matter. They're not going to play Secret after this. It's not going to happen. This is the last series of the day. The only series of the day for EU, from what I've been told. They're going to make a date for rescheduling in, 20, in the next 24 hours. I'll probably tweet about it. Beyond some will tweet about it. Everybody tweet, whatever. Back to the draft. Who cares? Kingwin, Earthshaker, and Venomancer early. Necro, Nyx, 4 OG, Batrider banned out by Kingwin, and Monkey King banned out by OG. Um, so right away, Nyx is that, that <clears throat> Nyx is that mobile ward at level 6, but more than that, obviously. Uh, you know, you're trying to get in there, find a nice 
Vendetta hit stun, lock it up for possibly Necro coming in. Maybe if they want to go with somebody global like uh, Nature's Prophet in the offlane, we could see that happen. Or go back to that Underlord where they can Dark Rift in when they have the Nyx moving forward. Um, so, uh, maybe OG are starting to maybe set up for a global lineup of some sort where they can work with the Nyx Assassins, Vendetta, uh, to find out these heroes on Team Kingwin. Take a look, they ban out the Monkey King, they don't want that, you know, that heavy hitter of, of Monkey King with the Boundless Strike, with the vision he grants in the trees. They don't want to be up against that, and they don't want to be up against Pugna either. OG's turn to pick. So. Let's take a look, because they ban- Now King would ban out the nature, ni uh, Nature's Prophet. And, um, Ten seconds remaining. I mean, that kind of stops the idea that I had for them. They don't have to go with the Nature's Five Prophet. They could go back remaining. to that Underlord. Uh, they'd be a pretty tanky team with Underlord uh, Necro as well coming out with that Ghost Shroud. He could stay alive a little bit longer in these fights. So I wouldn't be surprised to see that. Um... So just to reiterate, for people just joining me, the winner of this first secret will not happen today. Not that I'm not casting it, but it's just not going to happen today. Uh, they have two days, three lands to qualify for, best of five against SVT, SFT, a best of three against the winner of this, and then another best of five versus Mouse. So um, they, I, just, I guess it doesn't fit their schedule. For the side of Kingwin, you've got the early fissure of a position for Earthshaker. You could have Safeway and Venomancer come out for Kingwin. Now Disruptor, I kind of like this, uh, comes out for OG, where you have that Glimpse Chase ability lining up with a Nyx Assassin, Vendetta Stun, or even pull them back in, get that Reaper Scythe out there, and it could look pretty good for the side of OG. For the side of Team Kingwin, they pick up Silencer, who's been getting played in the position five uh at least in recent history so five silencer Ten four Earthshaker remaining. could be a safe lane venom answer could be mid who knows five seconds remaining but uh it will most likely be a safe lane venom answer. ags does exist for all three of these heroes Alchemist always a possibility. They're actually down quite low in time. Radiant team pick. You're gonna go with the Dark Seer. Hmm. Alright, so Dark Seer, Disruptor, Necrophos, Nyx Assassin. Um Ten seconds remaining. Could be Necro mid. I don't know if that's gonna be a resolution hero and blood up by Interesting. Bloodseeker, Silencer, Earthshaker, Venno. Remaining. Pretty rough lineup to deal with <laughs> for OG. Especially up Radiant against Darkseer, who is really trying to surge out or move away you really can't use that of course getting ruptured Ten seems like it might be another tough game for og despite winning that first game it was a tough Five game for them remaining. in that first game with razor who had such a hard time over mid against that od it seems like it's setting up something similar where OG is going to be on their back foot. Last ban was Death Prophet from OG. See what they last ban on Kingwin. Will be 
Chaos Knight. So, looks like they are going to pick Resolution Hero next, or that's what Team Kingwin is looking for. Necrophos mid coming out for OG Nyx. Ten seconds. Four remaining. Disruptor Five Darkseer in that off lane. Five seconds remaining. Kingwin. Hmm. OG's it's turn to pick. Lone Druid. All right. Lone Druid comes out for Kingwin. Lone Druid, Bloodseeker, Silencer, Earthshaker, Venomancer. Um, if they go, they have push in the Venomancer. Earthshaker can hit towers harder as the game progresses with that totem. And Lone Druid, if he goes Mask of Madness on the bear, they could try a heavily push lineup over the side of Kingwin. And uh, Wraith King comes out for OG, so a nice stun for them. That second life, that uh, reincarnation slow. A hard crit with Necrophos behind you with the Reaper Scythe. Could look pretty good for the side of OG. See... Have to see how OG handle this Ten next game. Remaining. They can win this series 2-0, or if Kingwin are going to be the ones who Five take it remaining. to a game three. Resolution on the Wraith King, S4 on the Darkseer, Fly on the Disruptor, No-Tail, Necro, and Jerax playing the Nyx Assassin. Uh, exotic Deer on the Lone Druid in the safe lane mid Bloodseeker. Nisha, Ella, Sash on the Silencer. Kaysor in that position for Earthshaker. And Patos on the Venomancer in the off lane. So, we're off and ready to go in this game two between OG and Kingwin. OG have a 1-0 lead over Kingwin. Kingwin trying to keep their hopes alive in this Star Ladder EU qualifier. Well, OG looking to advance to the finals up against Secret, which, again, to reiterate myself, will take place um, another day. Radiant this time around is Kingwin. OG is going to be dire. We'll take a look at how the lanes form out for both sides as they're showing resolution up top. He did start in that off lane last game on the Phantom Lancer, but this time around probably going to be a little bit better. Uh, suited in the safe lane against this Venom Lancer. Might not... Hmm. We'll have to see how that goes. Venom Lancer might have an alright time. It might be a pretty no-kill lane. But you've always got Nyx to get a stun. A glimpse early comes out from Fly. Maybe you set up something early for OG in terms of Kingwin. I like him with uh, Kaysor going around with this Earthshaker. Always an opportunity for a couple of kills when you've got an Earthshaker roaming around. So no pressure. Battle begins. Pressure from either side going into these bounty runes. The lanes will take place. The block coming through from Fly to set up Resolution. Over mid, you've got the Courier taking the salve to No-Tail, who's mid on this Necrophos. Jerex looking like he's heading up top. Meanwhile, mid, you've got Kaysor as well as the Bloodseeker of Nisha. What a very good game on OD last time. We'll see how he plays it out as that Fissure's going to push No-Tail to the wrong side. Kaysor and Nisha here against No-Tail. You take a look over bottom as it's S4 up against Elisash and Exotic. Jerex setting up on this Nyx. 
possibly going um, Beito would, would be a pretty rough way to go in. And actually, Resolution taking quite a bit of damage after that Venomous Scale, so he'll be pushed back uh, quite a bit. Resolution and Fly still up here, and Nyx. Jerax just kind of probably waiting for Patos to be pushed back if he is. I don't know if I want Jerax around over towards the back end of this tower. He's probably better suited to come in with trees here if the lane does push up, and that's exactly where it's set at. Take a look over mid again. Nisha quite low. No tail level two. He's looking good with one in Ghost Shroud and one in his heal, and then Nisha just has one in Blood Rage. Thirst. Fly eats a little bit of damage there from uh, Patos on this Venomancer. Let's look over bottom as Exotic Deer at 8 and 9 having a really easy time. And actually S4 has been pushed away. So he's probably going to be trying to use that Ion Shell. Try and get himself some farm. Try to get what he can to wait out for that shrine. Maybe go to 2 or 3. Take a look over mid Nisha. He's okay with that Blood Rage just to heal himself up, but no tail and fly. They're pushing quite well. Got these creeps here by the tower, and it might be no tail who has to watch out. He's past the river. You've got Kaysor always waiting, and there it is. There's the fissure that's going to come through. Of course, Nisha not level 6, so no rupture to really hold no tail in, but if that were to happen again, maybe in, say, 2 or 3 minutes could be a problem for No-Tail in this mid lane where Bloodseeker will hit that 6 with um, Kaysor going around and really be locked in by him. So, Resolution just continuing to farm up, having an alright time as Patos has moved in over to this jungle area by the secret shop. And uh, Petos trying to farm up as much as he can. He's only 8 0, while this Wraith King is 19 and 5. Resolution, you know, last game he put the team on his back as this Phantom Lancer. Let's see if he can do it again in game 2, or if he needs to. They're hoping that No Tail can find himself a little bit of farm, find, find level 6 quickly to use that Reaper Scythe and stymie King win in the early game, early mid game. No aggression coming out from either side just yet. You've got a couple of heroes coming over mid every now and then just to harass out a bit. No tail actually very low. He uses that Ghost Shroud and the heal to push away Nisha, but Nisha just level 4 just with Boots and a Quelling Blade. Now a Wraith Band is pretty hard where No tail needs to watch out a little bit. Resogun, very deep on Petos, throws that stun, no shrine available for 30 seconds, just continuing to hit away. He'll have Fly in just a moment with the Thunderstrike, Kinetic Field to lock him in. Might be First Blood and will be. Thunderstrike slams down Petos and First Blood is there for OG. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Take a look as Jerex has been found out by Nisha and Kaysor. That'll be a kill going the way of Penguin. Fisher hits again on No Tail. He's forced to use that Ghost Shroud, but still stunned up quite a bit. They're under tower. The totem will hit on No Tail to stun him up. Hit him a little bit hard, but now the Arcane Curse is there, and No Tail is still in a little bit of trouble getting hit by El Asash. You've got S4 here with Jerex. They're trying to chase down Nisha too fast. One more shot from El Asash would kill off No Tail, but... S4 and Jerex are here to get the kill on the Silencer and the Earthshaker. Now we're helping out. Two kills go the way of OG split because of uh, assist and the other tower. And now level 5 is no tail. Is in front. Just a touch. 
the opportunity is there for the Reaper Scythe. Now level 6, they might actually go in on this. There's the Heal Bomb. Let's see if they'll pull him back. They don't have Glimpse. Only level 2 is Fly. Maybe if he had 3, we see OG getting the kill. Still looking to go in deep with these creeps. Nisha pinging it out. He only runs so far away from no tail is quite quick. He's hitting away. There's the Reaper Scythe. Not enough. And there it is. So Reaper Scythe doesn't kill him off, but no tail will get that last hit. Um, Death Pulse comes in just a second too late, and no tail's Reaper Scythe. Not enough. Fissure hits on two. Tail. Still all right, and Jerax is here. Kinetic field with the impale coming out from the Knicks will be another kill for OG. No tail looking way better than game one as he's now two and up. We've got Nishi here with Datos. They made the rotation. They've got the rupture as well as the Gale on Jerax. He's more than dead as Nisha and Datos set up around him. But Jerax with the rupture will finally go down, and Elisash, rightfully enough, comes over and grabs the minus two or plus two for him. Five. So a thousand net worth lead. For the side of OG. Let's see if they're able to extend this net worth lead and look for pretty much an early game lead that they didn't have last game. See how well they play with that. You take a look. Over bottom exotic here. We haven't really taken a look at him at all. He's got the Midas already and really just free farming away. We've had S4 here every now and then. He goes into the jungle with that ion shell. When you leave. El, uh, Elisash and Exotic Deer all, you know, around by themselves. I see that great for the side of OG going into this mid-game. You take a look at Fly continuing to get hit by Elisash and the Ar Arcane Curse. They'll take out one. They'll look for more in Jerax. They've got their rupture coming through, and now with the fear coming out from Exotic Deer, he'll hurt even more. One more shot, and the kill is there for Nisha. Savage Roar to do more damage with that rupture, but it gives two kills going the way of this blood seeker. Pesos continuing to farm up. He's doing all right. Not amazing behind S4 by 500 gold, but all right for what he's done. I think he's rotated a couple uh, too many times. But they look at Fly. They've got themselves the Fissure looking for the root. There's the Kinetic, or Glimpse and Kinetic Field from Fly to keep himself alive. He will run back and be okay. Root makes his way to the Hatchery. Elisage drops to S4, trying to TP out. Just gets out. It's blood right, not enough damage at level 1, and S4 ruptured as well. Just TP's away with no fear of a stun coming in his way. It's here on to no tail. More to follow that up, and we'll take a look over bottom again as Nisha just continuing to farm on this Bloodseeker. We'll see what he goes for next after this fate after these phase boots. With exotic deer farming the jungle as well with a Midas of his own. So they both have about 1300 gold saved up. Their net worth's close. Uh, not close to each other by much. 600 gold spreads them out, but those are two cores for the side of Kingwin. 
who are top three in the net worth while you've got Resolution farming away now in the jungle looking for that armlet after taking out that might. On that arm while he's in the jungle. Jarex over mid against Case, where we'll stun each other. Just about level six is Jarex, where I think OG will look to be a bit more aggressive with the mobility of Nyx and that vision that he'll provide with Vendetta. Uh, no tail nearby at level 9, and S4 at level 9 as well, pushing with the Ion Shell on himself. Global Silence comes over mid. You take a look. Elisage trying to TP out will successfully do so. The Global Silence saves him from getting stunned by Resolution, but that is Global Silence used, and three heroes mid for OG, which means Kingwin, they're going to move up top, look for Fly. They spot him out. That's enough. They get the Fissure before glimpsed away, and Fly chased out by Patos as well as Kay, so the kinetic field is there, but that's not going to save his life, and Earthshaker will slam jam down fly. Over bottom, S4 is ruptured, but there's the totem to lock S4 in place. There's not much he can do. Blood right on top of him. The kill is there for Nisha and Kingwin. Like that, get two kills. Aggression coming the way of OG from Kingwin this time around. And now level 6 is Jerax. He's got this Vendetta to spot out Patos. He's got Resolution coming over. He's going to stun him up. There's the Vendetta hit. Followed up with the Impale. Should be an easy kill. One more slam. And there it is. Resolution with the swipe of a hand. Will get another kill. Or get his first kill. 1-0-1-1. So 7-6 in favor of OG. You've got this Veil coming out on No-Tail with the Yules coming in next for him. Nyx and for... Tranquils. It seems. They're going to try to use him as much as they can. They find a couple of kills like they just did top. Fissure hits on two. There's the totem. Also ends on two. No tail trying to chase down Case where he gets pulled back with Flinks as well as the vacuum. Reaper Scythe is thrown and no tail with another. He's now got himself a killing spree looking much better than the previous game. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Now Resolution, he shows himself, bottom gets the stun, hits the courier, gets a kill, and now they look to go in on Patos, the Venomous Gale is going to be thrown at S4 as well as Poison Nova, a little bit of damage over time, hurting this side of OG as well as the Arcane Curse, but won't be enough to deter OG, they'll get the kill on Patos, actually look for more, Jerax moves forward with the Vendetta, they've got the Kinetic Field, they'll spot out El Asash. And wow, one huge hit from Resolution will clean up that one. And 10 to 6 in favor of OG as all five heroes are here. And a double kill for S4. So OG. They are really doing well this game. A lot better than the first. And that is a considerable difference for No Tail, who is 3 0 and 4. Doing well, has that. Jules coming in next. With that Veil at level 10, almost level 2 in that Reaper Scythe. We'll see if OG look to continue to move forward on Kingwin. What does Kingwin have right now? Tranquil's on Earthshaker, a while away from that Blink Dagger. Yasha is here for Bloodseeker, looking for that SNY. He's level 11, and his form's been alright. Third on the net worth, but it's really the lone druid you talk about, as his form is almost on par with Resolution from where he's been at. He's not going the Mask of Madness build, so they're not looking to push. 
They're looking for the later game where they're going to use this Radiant. So you take a look, actually, Exotic Deer's been found out. He's going to be close back into the Static Storm. You take a look at Nyx. Reaper Scythe comes in, will clean up Exotic Deer, and Echo Slam is dropped on top of a couple of heroes on OG. He'll clean up Jerex, but Azor will be found out and finished off by OG as well as El Asas. Three kills for OG, and they only lose Jerex on that Nyx. About a thousand net worth change in favor of OG. They'll grab this tier one tower as well. Now lead by 3,000, and they are looking pretty good. Ooh, fly. Might be in trouble. They're gonna have Nisha come over, but Nisha, I don't know if he knows that three more heroes are around here. You don't really want to go in on this. And no tail nearby, Nisha should just turn around and walk away with the invis rune he has. There's the rupture on S4 as well as the blood right. He's actually going to try and go for both of these heroes. S4 trying to get away. He's locked in by the kinetic field. Getting away is fly with just 51 health. You take a look at S4 trying to clip. Case where he'll end up dropping. Nisha gets the kill, and now they look for more. No tail in a bit of trouble as Exotic Deer, Petos, and Elisage start to hit away. Roche wants to join in, but Exotic Deer will get the kill on No Tail, and I think with that, they're trying to move in on Roche, who's stuck in the fissure. Nope, not going in. Looks like they might. They will just continue to push over mid, get it down to about 68 health. And the two going over is Jerax. He knows that Kesor is here and he's got Vendetta up in 10, trying to wait out his time and go after Kesor with one hit. Peto's coming up, he needs to watch out so he doesn't get spotted. Four seconds. Be able to get him in between the towers and there's the Vendetta. This is what he's been waiting for and there it is. Stun's gonna hit. Can he clean him up? Kesor in trouble, and... Oh, Spike Carapace. I'm sure he doesn't get hit by that totem. Will get the kill. Jerax is here to try and TP away, but there's the Savage Roar to pull him out, and Jerax has traded his life. And that's a kill going to Exotic Deer. Well, has that Sacred Relic looking more towards that Radiance already and farming very well. Not on pace with resolution, but now he's just here to spot S4. There's the rupture. Blood right. S4 just trying to get out of that so he can TP away, possibly. But there's the vacuum. Two more shots from Nisha, and there's the kill. Fourteen to twelve in favor of OG. Looking all right. They haven't really spread their net worth advantage that much, and that's due to the fact that Exotic Deer he's found himself a couple of kills. He's been farming very well. He's only almost three thousand, or actually almost two thousand behind. Resolution, any math right there, and that bear does now have that radiance in full. OG again still trying to use Jerax to find a moment to go in. Anybody all sentry wards in the jungle, so Jerax has to be careful, but he's not known uh, known about mid just yet. Yeah, he's had no team with him, so just really getting vision, soaking up some experience, and that's it. Actually, your resolution's gonna go for a radiance of his own. comes out you take a look over mid there's a fight raging on as Jerax is silenced as well as hit by that arc and curse oh, that's gonna come through no that might be more good trouble to the static storm on top of this venom answer reaper scythe as well that's not gonna do anything they'll lose two and both no tail as well as fly they look for another one in resolution nice vacuum wall rupture is out on s4 this is looking like a good fight for king when nisha slamming down these heroes they finally kill off exotic gear but it looks like resolution might only lose his first life they slowed up Ezos and Nisha. They've got Jerex coming through. The Poison Nova's out. Oh, one big crit there from Resolution. The stun comes in from Jerex. 
an OG look all right in this fight. They've taken out the three cores of Kingwin. They're looking for more in LSA. She has no mana to TP away, even if he had a TP. He'll pick up the bounty room, try and make space, glimpse back into the kinetic field. OG, Jerex, and Resolution are here. The neutrals looking to steal a kill, and they will. So unfortunately for OG, they do get the chase. They end up having Elisash go down, but they don't get credit for it. Seventeen to fifteen. Four thousand net worth lead here for OG. look at what Kingwin's working with is they have that radiance on the bear but that's about it for him right now. They do have the Midas so the farm is going to be nice for exotic deer and then Nisha with the SNY looking for Defusal next. Not too far away from that. Sash just continuing to push his own side. Now, you know, Tranquil is smoke. Look over at Jerex, who's got himself that urn and wanted to get the dagger next. Is there Shaker picked up his? He has. So now they have the opportunity to work with Blink, Echo Slam, and those three stuns that Earthshaker brings to the fray. Dire the Diffusal Blade picked up by Bloodseeker, so. We'll see if this is their time to really go in and fight. Resolution quite, quite strong with that Radiance now, as well as the Blink Dagger. So all five heroes are here for OG. They're looking over towards bottom. Three of these heroes are here for King. They might be in a little bit of trouble. They're going to be found out by these boards. Resolution goes in, not smoked. They are forced back. Look to push this bottom tier two again. Jarek's just trying to find vision of where these heroes are at for Kingwin. Pushing top is exotic deer with this bear. Having Radiance and looking for the Solar Crest next. And Resolution will try and clean up and take a look at the rest of the heroes. They're looking for a fissure to stop anybody. Okay, so we're not going to find it. And they'll all be able to TP out with four of these heroes coming down for Kingwin. Or actually all five of them. So they push this tier two, get it mm, a little under half health. 600, and now what the right comes out. Gonna hit on two spike carapace to stun up the Bloodseeker. They might look for more. And still locked into Static Storm. They've got the global silence. Jarek's hitting away, but Bloodseeker hits harder. Jarek finds the stun, gets the kill on Nisha, and OG, despite being silenced, will clean up at least one. They've got the Surge coming through on Resolution as well as the Blink, but doesn't blink to the right spot just yet. And Elosash might be the one who's killed off next by Resolution. He spotted Radiance burning away, and nicely uh, placed by Elosash to get into those trees and TP away. A gift from the Tempest of Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. We're trying to get out of the kinetic field. Pulled back in by the vacuum wall. But OG don't commit to going in just yet. They've got the glimpse back on Kesor. They pull him back one, not once, but twice. OG. Despite using vacuum and wall, do not go in further anymore. We'll retreat off this mid tier two. So Bear has finished off that Solar Crest. They're continuing to push. They've got this Tier 2 down to about 1,000 health. So they've taken 600 off that. Let's take a look over mid. Elisash here and Nisha. Four heroes here from uh, Kingwin. OG are searching the trees up top to find nothing. Good, 
exotic deer still just continuing to farm 3,000 net worth behind resolution on this Wraith King who's farming impressively well and he's going for that maelstrom and he's just about finished with it and as I say that there it is push the farm will be faster from resolution if you think it was fast right now think again and it's gonna get that much faster and resolution now silenced up, but nothing there for the side of Kingwin as they are looking to push bottom a little bit. OG. Head into Roche and four heroes here while No Tail is pushing bottom. You take a look. Nisha's been spotted out by Jerax. There's the blink. Oh boy, a little bit of a miss. Comes all the way back, but Global Silence comes in from the silencer. So now Kingwin might be able to push on forward as they've got the rupture out on S4, but with not many heroes here, OG will be able to retreat freely and maybe go back into the Roche, but they know that Kingwin's here, so they don't want to go in just yet. And Global Silence is down, so OG, instead of going for the Roche, could be very aggressive at this moment. One Roche again, not gonna stick in just yet. Looks like they're looking to set up for a smoke. And there it is, a five man smoke coming out from OG. Radiant are scanning. <laughs> Gosh, pulling away these creeps. Two heroes coming through. Here's Jerax Vendetta looking for that hit. Finds it with the stun. Flies here with the thunder strike. And Elisash cutting those creeps wasn't the smartest of moves as you now fall to both Jerax and Quad. So it's a space for the rest of OG to get this Aegis that's now put on Resolution who has three lives. Kingwin, despite being down four kills, their net worth isn't too bad. Vacuum not going to pull back Peito, still trying to run away. You've got S4 here, no more Vacuum, and no way to stop him from getting out. Resolution could have blinked in and stun actually his blink was on foot, so no, he couldn't. Ooh, Echo Slam on No Tail, Blood Rites there as well as the bear coming in. There's the Savage Roar to push him to his own death, thanks to the rupture of Nisha. Jerex is here as well as the Fly and Resolution. S4 joins in. He should get a hit by Resolution. Locked in by this kinetic field. The Fly will be struck in down. And now they look for more in case or as though there's the glimpse used by Fly as well as the Thunderstrike. And they will clean off both the Bloodseeker and the Earthshaker after losing no tech. Twenty-one to sixteen, and now they're looking over top. Jerex is here, and I don't know how far forward he wants to be. Fourteen seconds without Vendetta. There's the Savage Roar into the Venomous Scale. Spike Carapace to stun him up for just a moment. The Arcane Curse and the Venomous Scale should be enough to kill him. And Exotic Deer gets credit for that one. on the bear but he silence uses that ghost shroud to slow up the bear for just a moment you take a look mid resolution continuing to work to push with that armlet while kingwin pushed top we'll take a tier two back off and the three heroes here from kingwin are not going to chase Resolution goes in onto this Bloodseeker in the jungle. Take a look. Now it looks as though his Kazor is going to die. He'll fall as well. Resolution with an easy looking double kill. Little silence comes through. You take a look at the fight happening up top. No tail getting a little bit low as Elisash is here with the bear, but not enough damage to take him out. And Elisash is going to run up into the top lane. 
through these racks, through this tower, all the way into the base. The fail is there from No Tail Resolutions. Clean up another one. Can he get this kill on El Asash? No. You are Resolution just going into the base and getting more kills. He'll go off cage. So Resolution, S4 and Fly, they look to clean up this tier 3 mid. They've got creeps, they've got the Aegis. Resolution just hits away with S4, and this might be a much quicker game than the previous one against King. Goes down the tier 3, they look towards getting this Rax. He's gonna be rooted up. That's his first life gun. Can they pop the Aegis? There's the stun on to the bear. Resolution hitting away. Should be able to clean it up and will. What right is going to come through for the silence? Will hit on just Resolution. No G. I think they're okay with taking that tier 3 and might look to back off. But they're waiting for their creeps. They're looking to set up again. Knowing that they have this Aegis and now a 10,000 net worth lead. On the low ground, Resolution blinks in. It's gonna get that stun off on k -Sor. He's gonna be forced that back again. Now we'll see if they can turn this around on OG. Echo Slam comes through from the Earthshaker. Vacuum wall on three from S4. So the Savage Royal will push back Resolution, but he still has that Aegis. They're looking to get this kill onto the Bloodseekers. They've taken out S4. The Glimpse is back. The kill is there with the Reaper Scythe. And now, finally, Resolution is back. But that's just with his ulti. He still holds the Aegis. He'll get another kill. Buybacks there from the Bloodseeker. Looking to get back in as he should have killed off this Resolution. Wraith King God. He's back alive again. Resolution blinks back to his team. Will finish off this set of racks just like that. OG, no retreat, just losing S4 in the ages. So now with that racks down mid, it's a 14,000 net worth lead for OG. Radiance bottom shrine is under attack. <laughs> Open up shrines at the MKB on resolution, and they will start to take these buildings out up their net worth lead of 15,000 and really look to close out the net this game in the next coming minutes. Regeneration. A gift from the Tempest of Battle. The no tail looks to push top three heroes or two heroes here for King when Elisah showing himself in the front, maybe not the best place for him. Glimpse back by a nice replace as well here. And actually, Resolution trying to get into this fight. Gets stopped by the Fissure, still moving forward. There's the Defusal to slow him down. But the stun from both Jerex and Resolution is there. Kaysor one and looking for two. Radiance burn as well. As Jerex just hitting away with that urn will take him out. Clean up this tier 2 over top, and OG, they're setting up again for another high ground seat. Radiance top tower is under attack. Revolution actually backs off, cleans up this ancient wait for Roche, but it's still a little ways out. Should feel a little bit confident going into this next fight, knowing that Resolution has a second life. 40 second cooldown with that Aegis. They just don't kill him fast enough on King Win. He had four lives in that, that last high ground siege. Radiance top shrine has fallen. Take a look over exotic here, Elisash and Nisha. And Jerex finds Elisash, gets that stun. Bloodright comes in, they'll spike Carapace it up. Fissure stops resolution for just a moment, but there's the stun and actually four steps to the high ground. They get pulled back, there's the Reaper Scythe, and will slam down on top of Elisash, taking him out for 80 seconds. Now they'll push over bottom, blink in, resolution, one, two, three, four, we'll get the kill on Kaser, so the global silence is a little bit late, they come in with Pachos to throw that poison over as well as the Venomous Scale and, and No Tail, they'll finally kill off S4, but I don't know how much that's gonna do, you've got this nicely farmed resolution just getting away at this team and doing oh so much.
Decarnation gets Great Fire Blast, stuns up the entire side of Kingwin. Three are dead, and one's gonna buy back in Pechos. They actually do take out Resolution, and now they're looking for more. Venomous Scale thrown at Jerex. He'll drop three dead on OG, and No Tail, he might be next. Little Yule's action there. No Tail trying to bite some time. Savage Roar, and there's the kill. Xyre just gets away. And Fly looking to be next. Will Fly get the kill? No! It's not enough. He'll survive with 33 health, and it's a full team wipe in favor of Kingwin. So a full team wipe. Still down by 16,000 net worth. It was because there were two buybacks there from Elisash and Petos. Not really needing to buy back as they've really been able to push into this base freely. You take a look as Kingwin try to farm, not try to get those next couple of items they need to defend a little bit better. I mean, getting all five kills is a nice defense, but that's thanks to the buybacks. You're not going to have that every time. Is her here with the four staff with the blink dagger. You take a look at Elisash, still pretty much nothing. Bloodseeker looking for that BKB, but is a ways out. And then Lone Druid, let's take a look at his bear. I actually don't think he has a bear right now. At least for the next 30 seconds. Take a look at Petos. Looking for that Silver Crest. Then Evans Halberd. Still way off from that. And uh, Ag's actually coming out from the Lone Druid. Take a look at No Tail getting his Ag's. S4 with the pipe. Guardian Greaves looking for the Blink next. Jerax on this Nyx. Blink, Duel's Urn. And then Resolution. Of course, with that Radiant still, full Mjolnir. Oh my god. Armlet, MKB, Blink, top of the network by almost 6,000 on this Lone Druid. Resolution having like an eight and a half, an 11 on one and 11. And there's not really much that could stop him despite him going down in that last engagement. King, when they move into this Roche pit, they have Echo Slam available. Nisha, Exotic, here, and Petos have made their way in. OG, none the wiser to it. OG, let's see if... The time answer is no, and the Aegis is picked up by Nisha. Bear. Silver Crest, AC, Midas, and Radiance. So OG now without that Aegis, they might take this time to sit back and farm their next couple of items. Uh, no Tail working on that. Ag still, he's got enough gold for it, but probably going to hold for buyback with the Heaven Hel Heaven's Halberd and the Veil. He's all right and level 20, so Reaper Sight is level 3. Take a look at the balance he's taken. 10% on magic resistance, plus 6 stats, 40 damage. So, pretty well off right now. And Resolution, already level 25, has that reincarnation cast Wraithfire Blast on everybody in an AoE. That is absurd. There might be in trouble. Stunned up by Jerex. Resolution going to stun it up as well. And that is no bear. Uh, actually, bear summoned again, but no bear summoned for another two minutes. So they clean up the bear, get 300 gold, and they'll continue to push while Kingwin, with this Aegis, they're pushing top, but have not gone for a fight of their own. With the pushing coming in from OG, they're forced to come back. It looks like set up to smoke again. Yes. Take a look over top. Global Silence is going to be used. The Yule is going to keep No Tail alive for a little bit longer. And let's see if they can get a kill. Meanwhile, Nisha's got the kill on Jerex. Reaper Scythe comes through onto the Earthshaker. Kaysor will not get the kill, but they finally clean it up with Fly. You take a look over bottom. They go in on Resolution. They pop his first fight, but they're all stunned up. 
That could be a little bit of trouble as he blinks away. And now you've got S4 here with a nice vacuum wall on four heroes. BKB is going to be popped by Nisha. Still continuing to chase on S4. They'll clean him up. They've got themselves two OG down to three heroes left. You take a look at Fly trying to get away. The static storm will lock him in with the kinetic field. But he will die as well. And just no tail and resolution survive. They take out k -Sor, But that is it. Take a look at that fight recap. Four die. It's actually three is the, the reincarnation of Wraith King used. And they only lose Earthshaker. So this is slowly but surely turning into another game one situation where Kingwin has helped again. Okay. Not nicely, but in a decent manner. This game could be going to 80 minutes. You never know. You take a moment here to ask Cocaster's thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop talking to myself. That's right. Yeah. So up top, no tail, just continuing to farm. He's got that Ags finished off. Looking pretty good going for the blink next. His farm's been much better this game. He's been positioned much better this game. 7, 4, and 16. Where last game, I'm pretty sure his plus minus was minus. And uh, he was really on the back of Resolution now. This game is not much different. The fact that Resolution was 25 very quickly. It was 6 slotted very quickly as well. But No Tail, this time around, is actually kind of participating a little bit more in these fights. And he did have 55,000 damage. He was damage last game. But it just seemed he was out of position so many times. And taking out a fight so early that even that 55,000 damage on heroes was kind of a shot. So Jerax over bottom will get the stun again onto this bear with spike there if it's any fail. Resolution will stun him up. One, two, three, four, five, and Resolution Nice little kill. It got Fissure as well as the Global Silence. Doesn't look like Kingwin's going to look to chase. They've got the Rupture through on the S4, but you really got to worry about resolution. You can't go in. Now Global Silence is down, and OG, we're ready to fight. They set up bottom. Everybody here. There's the Spike Carapace to stun up this Bloodseeker Nisha. It puts him in a little bit of trouble when he throws that blood right down. That could be initiation for Jerax. He does have that blink available to him. Blink is getting there for no tech. He might blink in if they do set something up like that again. So Kingwin, they gotta be very careful. Let's take a look at the Still the same thing. No, he's got the BKB this time around. So Fissure comes through as well as the Blood Right, but Yule's to save no tail for now. Blink forward, S4, nice vacuum wall into the Static Storm. They should be able to clean up at least one. They'll take out Patos. He's dead for 104 seconds. Nisha knows it's the time to fight. He needs to make something happen now. Echo Slam on three. So can Kingwin take this fight? Case we're getting quite low. Nisha hitting away. They'll take out no tail. They'll look for more in S4, and they'll get themselves a second. They've only lost themselves the Earthshaker as well as the Venomance, and they finally take out Resolution, who comes back alive and is stunned up everybody so Nisha's got to be a little bit careful so does Exotic Deer they've lost the bear they'll lose Lone Druid buying back is K-Store but they are down to three heroes to defend this high ground Resolution goes in again there's the spike carapace locked in the Bloodseeker Totem comes out on two Kaso trying to help his team get a couple of kills they finally take out Resolution who is just 10 seconds away from getting that reincarnation back up and they do hold again that bottom barracks. Jerax is actually the one who gets it and will be able to retreat. Or, and I say that, they're coming in. There's the fissure. They've got the rupture. Jerax running away. Spike Carapace stops Nisha for just a moment, and that's going to be enough to lock him in.
Jarex gets away with a nicely used Spike Carapace. Actually, at the end of Spike Carapace, you should use that uh, rupture and still hit him. So, unfortunate for the Bloodseeker. And OG, oh, they've got themselves a 20,000 net worth lead. Just about. So. No Tail continuing to push top, and he's doing very well right now. 7, 5, and 19. Being way better than last game. Obviously, this is a newer team with uh, resolution coming in, positions getting a little bit changed, so. Still trying to find their chemistry, which is okay, but it just looks a little bit worse when they're trying to find their chemistry and all these qualifiers are happening at one time. Resolution, Moonshard, Eaton, looking for the Abyssal Blade next. Take a look, Jarax with that gem. Did no tail pick up that blink? He did. Alright. Move in further to set up the Slow Siege again. Jarek trying to go in. Spike Carapace. Not going to set anything else up. So this is a similar formation that we've seen Kingwin in before. Circling the Ancient. And uh, just looking to defend. Which is fine. They try to set up the Roche. Coming in in a minute and 30. So they'll sit by this Roche pit, continue to farm, knowing that Kingman have been corralled in their base. They can't really move out too far in risk of being kicked off. And actually, let's take a look at their buybacks. They got buyback on Bloodseeker, and that is it. Should just sit around this Roche pit for the next minute. Looking uh, periodically to try and get this next Aegis and Cheese, but they could look to fight. They have looked strong in these engagements. The only problem is they've lost Resolution and No-Tail a couple of times. So maybe uh, that confidence is not as strong as it was. Uh, maybe I'd say 10 minutes. They're just looking to hold, and again, they're just holding formation for OG near this Roche pit. Uh, and Roche is up in 10 seconds. Invisibility! Look over me, fly over. Oh, here in a minute, spot rupture comes through. That's actually fine that they use rupture on to fly. A global silence will follow up as well. Fly will end up dropping to Exotic Deer, but that is Rupture, which isn't a terrible cooldown, as well as Global Silence used. And now, Kingwin are going to be the ones who look to go in a rope. And are inside the Roche Pink Case, who are sitting on the outside. Jerex, that's what exactly who he's looking for. They want to be able to stop this Echo Storm. The Fisher's actually going to hit on Jerex. But now Jarek's with the Vendetta will get the stun as well. So they may not have Earthshaker in this fight. He's going to use himself, try and get out. But Resolution is here trying to clean up. And with that Radiance and the Wraithfire Blast damage, he will end up cleaning him up. We've got Nisha trying to run away. The Silence comes through. No stun from Jarex. No Tail has nothing to lock him down with. And Nisha... Maybe going to try and fight inside the blood right. Spike Carapace hits him. He's now no longer stunned. Still trying to run. There's the Yules on Nisha. The Veil is out. Reaper Scythe up in two. Not enough mana just yet. Now, finally, Jarex hits the stun. Gets the kill. And Exotic Deer taken out by Resolution off the camera. So Resolution goes into the Roche pit. And we come through from Penguin, and it will be Aegis on Resolution again. So three, maybe four lives, depending on how quickly they take out this race. Put 
pushing, or not pushing bottom, but looking for vision is Jerax deep into this base over by where the bottom rack once stood. Now pushing top is going to be Resolution and the rest of the team pushing mid. Looking to set up and they're looking to get into this base, clean up this game too, up by 27,000 net worth. Move on to the finals against Secret, which will take place another day. You take a look, Jerax. I've been found out. There's the Yules. They actually back off as the rest of the team's taking a rack, so he's just trying to make some space. Resolution eating creep shots, eating that venomous scale will eat his first life. And now he's got 47. Stun comes through on Ato's double stun from Jerax in a bit of trouble. There's the static storm. And now the Reaper Slave comes through. They'll finally kill off this Venomance. So he takes a look at the rest of the team and slides down himself a second kill. Pusha in here with the BKB hitting away. No tail is going to eat that cheese. Ato's come through with the Poison Nova. Kator is here. He's already used that Echo Slam. And Resolution does not care. It's just a scratch. He'll hit a Pato's three or two are dead on the side of Kingwin. Make that three from Resolution. And they finally pop that Aegis. Aegis is popped. He still has 8 seconds left before he can reincarnate again. That is where to push him back. But there is the vacuum on the two of these heroes to put them into the kinetic field. They'll clean up exotic gear. They'll look for more in the Bloodseeker. He rules himself up and not live before the Ancient goes down. So it's a full team wipe for OG. 46 to 30, just 51 minutes in. OG will win this second game and take the series move.